Six Jeopardy Masters are battling it out in an elite competition. James Hotel, Amy Snyder, Pat Amodio, Patea Roach, Andrew Heath, Sam Buttry. Ten episodes, 20 games, one champion. This is Jeopardy Masters. California, Andrew Heath, and a self-described game show villain from Las Vegas, Nevada, James Hotel. Thank you, John. And now, from the floor of the International Consumer Electronics Show, here is the host, here is the host, the Jeopardy Master, Ken Jennings. We're about to see the last of our 14 quarterfinal games in this Jeopardy Masters tournament. We have with us James and Andrew at the top of the Jeopardy Masters leaderboard at the moment, and Amy Schneider, who has finished second in no less than five Jeopardy Masters games so far. I bet a win in this one would feel good. Am I right, Amy? It definitely would, yeah. Well, good luck to all three of you. Up the 20th century. Then mythological words and phrases. Ooh, secrets of the Angelinos. Followed by comic strips. Masters of Wit, and it's a shame Sam Buttry's not here for Bring What? Let's find out where the Daily Double will be in this round. There it is. All right, James, you begin the round. Mythological words and phrases of the thousand. One can be between a rock and a hard place, or similarly, between this pair of foes faced by Odysseus. James? Or Charybdis and Scylla. Yes. Phrases eight. The Oracle of Delphi alluded to rocks when she told the treasure seeker to be diligent with this four-word phrase, still her turn. Back to you, James. 20th century thousand. The answer there is the Daily Double in the round. Ready? Faster. I have a prediction here. Ah, you know what to do. I think you're telling me you want to wager 1,000 points. Good answer. <laughs> All right, here's your clue. During World War I, Charles de Gaulle was wounded several times before he was captured in 1916 at this bloody battle. What it is, Verdun? Verdun is correct, yes. We have doubled up to 2,000 points. 20th century. In 1985, the remains of this notorious Nazi doctor were recovered from a grave in Brazil, buried under a false name. Andrew? Wizard. Maker of this fighter that took part in World War II's first shootdown of a German plane by an American one. That's the P-38. Lightning. Andrew? Masters of Lit, a thousand. Suppressed during his life, Mikhail Bulgakov's The Master and This Woman is a comic yet searing satire of Stalinist Russia. James. With Margarita. That's correct. Lit 8. Edgar Lee Masters is best known for this collection of free verse epitaphs from the cemetery of a fictional small town. James? What's the Spoon River Anthology? Good. Lit 6. A 1987 bestseller by him says, On Wall Street, Sherman McCoy and a few others had thousand. Characters in this current strip include an arrogant rat, a humble dim-witted pig, and a duck who guards the pig's front lawn. James? What is Pearl before swine? Yes. Comic 8. In addition to plundering and pillaging, this red-bearded Viking has appeared in ads for Mug Root Beer and Skull Lager. James. Was Hagar the Horrible? Yes. Comic 6? This huge sandwich first appeared in the comics in 1936. It's, of course, on the menu at Blondie's Restaurant in Orlando, Florida. Andrew? What's a Dagwood? You got it. Bring a thousand. An inscription at Washington, D.C.'s Union Station says, He that would bring home this phrase... Must keep he that would carry home the wealth of the Indies. Andrew, you select. Angelino's eight. 